Judging by the sales numbers, one can safely assume that massive pickup trucks are the only desirable vehicles on the North American market. Our viewers, on the other hand, have defied the stereotype by requesting a video that would review electric sit-down scooters specifically sold in this land of giants. Today, we're delivering on the promise and will tell you all about the lineup of e-scoots imported to or manufactured in the U.S. as of 2020. If you need more Italian style in your life, welcome the NES by Nito that's now being imported from Europe. This model has two equipment grades, NES 5 and 10, specifically designed to fall under moped and motorbike licenses. The former tops off at 28 miles per hour but compensates for the lack of performance with longer 60 miles range. The latter in turn doubles the speed to 56 miles per hour by sacrificing 10 miles of travel distance. Unlike within its home market, this scooter will not be available in countless combinations of colors but buyers still get to choose from blue, white, gray, green exterior paints. In the past, you might have heard about the Canadian manufacturer Daymac that's famous for their beast off-road ATVs and scooters. Today, however, we will talk about the brand's on-road mobility solutions and the entry-level model in their scooter range named Odyssey. It gets a classic Italian-style look and comes powered with a 500-watt motor good for 200 miles per hour speeds. The 1200-watt hour battery offers 28 miles of range but it's lead acid and not switchable. For this reason, the Odyssey remains a rather affordable scoot priced at around 1300 US dollars, while also packing plenty of higher end tech like an integrated LED display and LED lighting. Niu has long established itself as the undisputed leader within smart electric scooter segment. The fleets of their commuters include over half a million units across 20 plus countries. Among those is the United States, where dealerships and so-called flagship stores have started operating since 2019. At the moment, four Niu models are available for purchase, NQI, NQI GT, MQI Plus, and UQI GT. Regardless of the modification, all four come powered by highly efficient and powerful Bosch motors that work in tandem with the in-house developed field-oriented control system. Finally, Niu's battery packs are sourced from Panasonic and are good for 30 to 100 miles. Your feedback about this episode is absolutely crucial, so review the entire lineup and let us know what is your favorite entry in the comments below. Like this video and let's get back to awesome EVs. Vespa is one of the most iconic names on the market of sit-down scooters. It's been in operation for more than 70 years. In 2018, the company introduced its first all-electric model, borrowing the design from the legendary Primavera. The Electrica received a 5-horsepower electric motor, allowing for a max speed of 28 miles per hour and lithium-ion battery good for 62 miles. In 2020, Vespa introduced a new version of the model to the market. It's classified as a motorcycle, not a moped, which allows its top speed to be increased to 43 miles per hour. The Scoot also features an optimized power unit and battery, regenerative braking, and a new 4.3-inch TFT dashboard.
Inspired by the transportation culture of big Asian cities, the Flux was founded in 2014 to change the American perception of everyday commuting. Today, the company's EM1 scooter is going strong, and it's already in its third generation. The two-wheeler is motivated by a tandem of two-horsepower brushless hub motor and one or two lithium-ion batteries, each with the capacity of 1.56 kWh. Its maximum range reaches 25 to 50 miles an hour, respectively, while the top speed is limited to 38 miles per hour. The scooter also gets a solid suspension system with telescopic front fork and coilover dual shocks. The Arrow is a mid-tier scooter model in Daymax lineup that has sporty, modern styling and can carry one or two riders. Powered by a 500-watt electric motor, it easily conquers 25-degree hills and accelerates to 20 miles per hour. With a 2.16 kilowatt-hour lead-acid battery pack, it's also good for 35 to 46 miles of commute depending on the rider's weight and traveling speeds. For a cushier ride, the Aero is equipped with gas rear shocks and front shocks, while the stopping power is provided by hydraulic disc brakes on both ends. Other worthy features of the model include large LED headlight, digital display, and smartphone compatibility. Marketed as the cheapest electric scooter assembled and sold in America, the Zoom offers competitive specifications and a two-year peace-of-mind warranty on the battery and powertrain. This thing abandons any nonsense and goes for the most affordable components that can reliably do the job. The motor has two horsepower yield and can squeeze out up to 35 miles per hour speeds. If you cruise a bit slower though, expect to cover up to 60 miles on a charge. The Zoom gets double halo LED headlight, hydraulic suspension front and rear, plus it's quite utilitarian with such features as a lockable storage compartment, USB phone charger, and remote alarm. This German e-mobility startup has been under scrutiny from the Piaggio Group regarding the design of its scooters and additionally suffered some losses in the recent fire at the home plant. Nevertheless, the young company showed resilience and expanded onto the U.S. market by the end of 2019. Now, Kumpan Electric are gearing up to start deliveries of the beautiful lineup of retro-styled scooters. Among the upcoming offerings are 54 Inspire, 54 Iconic, and 54 Ignite. These two-wheelers vary between 4 and 9 horsepower. Their LG cell power packs ensure from 39 to 116 miles of range, and top speeds can reach 28 through 62 miles per hour. Backed by Mahindra Group, Gen Z is an EV manufacturer with production in Detroit. The company's flagship is the 2.0 model offered in two modifications, base and cargo. It's powered by a 2 kilowatt hour removable battery and has plenty of tech tricks like built-in GPS, 
a 7-inch touchscreen, and a mobile app with theft prevention. With 35 miles of range, the Scoot is designed for urban commuting, and its maximum speed is electronically limited to 30 miles per hour. Unfortunately, in June 2020, the company announced that it's going to shut down operations, so you'll have to hurry up to purchase their Scoots while they're still in stock. What are your thoughts about the presented lineup of electric vehicles? Which model is your favorite and why? Your feedback is absolutely crucial, so don't hesitate to share with us in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and smash that like button before you go. See you later!